Well, hey, bro, peoples, this is Sonic7832, and welcome to the next brand new LP on Super Mario Galaxy. Oh my gosh, that was a terrible impression. So, yeah, so for once, I'm gonna go back to visit some good Nintendo games, and geez, motion control thing is failing right now, but yeah. So, I'm gonna go back and visit some Nintendo IPs, and what better way to start with this than probably the face of Nintendo and the face of video games entirely, Mario. But the main problem with this it was um which Mario game should I LP? Because I don't really own a ton of them. But, oh actually I own a lot of them, but I really want to LP one some one of the main series games that I really did enjoy and will go back to play many times. But so I chose Mario Galaxy. So I'm gonna be narrating uh, this whole entire story. So let's begin. Every hundred years a comet appears in the skies above the mushroom kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the sky and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. And something tells me it goes wrong. Dear Mario, Oh wait, this is narrated. Oh. Ah, for once Peach actually talks. Ah, that's some good stuff. So, yeah. So like always, Peach asks Mario on a date, but he's just completely clueless. And wow. Okay, time to go to the Star Festival. Ooh, Star Bits. So Star Bits is essentially this game's, I'd say, kind of currency. So let's go talk to the coast. Evening, Mario. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do Chuka Conroy's toe impression. The Star Festival is starting! Yahoo! Oh, uh, oh my gosh, I can't do that. And these motion controls are so bad. Uh, then again, positioned the wrong way. Yay, you're here. What's this guy doing? Hey, Mar. Hey, Mario. See the Star Bit I have? Grab as many of them as you can. <coughs> uh, uh. Okay, you know what? Screw the Toads, they're like my least favorite characters in the entire Mario series. Let's just continue moving on. And, eh! Ugh! Ugh! Alright, finally, Mario's gonna make his move on Princess Peach. Let's do this, come on Mario, you can make it to second base! And there's a cutscene happening. Oh! Oh no! Ah! Not again! And guess who it is this time? Well, actually, I'm pretty sure everyone knows who this guy is. It's pretty much the main guy who's like the biggest cog block to Mario all the time. Bowser! Well, actually, oh no! The toads are frozen! Ah! No! Ah, well, there goes the toads. Then again, I don't really care because the toads suck. You suck my balls, toad. Hate you, a Mario Kart. So yeah, now the airships are taking over the whole entire Mushroom Kingdom. Isn't that great? Peach, how about you doing something in- Ooh, what's that? That looks like a little star anamorphic thing. Yeah, I don't know where to go with that. And there's the biggest um, douchebag of gaming entirely, Bowser. Ah, look at him. Princess Preach, you are formally invited. Oh, geez, you should probably check out your nostril things. They breathe smoke. Oh, that thing's alive, it looks like. Is it? Gwa ha 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 ha. very cheesy. Oh, when did you gain the power of lightning? What the? What? Since when is this guy able to control? Oh, he has a UFO. Oh, isn't this fun? Huh. All right, Bowser. I'm gonna. Uh, I. Oh, that's right. I can't do a shake. That's right. We triple jump. Ah, so good. okay. Let's collect these star bits because we might be needing them. Like, actually, we de we definitely gonna be needing them later. Okay, where do we go? Okay. Oh, these toads are panicking. Are you guys bounce. Oh, I think it was hit me right in the face. All right, what's this guy say? Oh, it's all just too horrible for words. Well, you're kind of speaking the words, so whatever. Let's go. Yeah. I don't care if they're meteorites raining. I'm gonna get the second base with Peach. If she even, even though she's running out saying help me like all the time. So, ah. Oh, so close to slamming right into that star. So, yeah, by the power of aliens, Bowser is gonna take her away. Again. 
Maybe. Let's see. <coughs> I should probably get some water. Um, oh! Oh! Alright, that's kind So... That's kind of, um, a little extreme if you ask me. What if a toad was caught right in the middle of the beam? Oh, then that'd be one sucky toad, but... Uh, oh no, not again! Okay, uh, that's not good. So after countless tries, Bowser just said, You know what, screw this, we're taking an entire castle. And the entire plot, well, the entire setting for Mario 64 was just taken away. Or it's about to be taken. Oh, there he goes. It's lifting. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say how geometrically impossible that is geometrically, um, geographically impossible that is, but either way it's a video game. Especially in this kind of game, there really is no sense of realism, but yeah. That's physically impossible. Hey, you know, how are those chains even holding up the Mushroom Kingdom? Or Peach's Castle entirely? Shouldn't the chains, like, break and then Peach's Castle go, like, feet, like falling right into the Earth's atmosphere and probably crash and blow up and something? And how are they breathing in space? Oh my gosh, there's too, just too much things to ask. Oh, Magic Koopa or a Kamek. Uh, so long, enjoy your flight. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a terrible voice actor. Oh no, oh! And Mario Dodge! You idiot! Uh, uh, wow. There goes Mario falling back into Earth. He should be dead. Alright guys, and thus sends our LP on Super Mario Galaxy. I hope you guys like what you see here. So like, oh wait, nope, it looks like something's happening. Never mind, my outro is finished. Aww. Oh, Mario's somehow alive. Okay, that's really confusing, actually. And who's this little fellow? And why is there a giant star in the sky? And why are we on a planet toy like we saw in Sonic Lost World? <gasps> Barney! Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Up, oh, up. Oh, he just said let's play. All right. Come on, jump with A. I'm pretty sure I know how to do this because I've played a million Mario games in my life. Wee! Star bits. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, I really got pushing myself better. Uh, I don't- oh my gosh, Bunny, stop. Okay, okay, Bunny, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to just come over here? Yeah, I'm jumping. Yeah. <gasps> More bunnies! Okay, we gotta catch them. Do we gotta pull a Mario 64? Let's play hide and seek. If you can catch all of us, we'll tell you, um, about where you are. Oh, great, now we gotta catch these bunnies. Let's go- oh, wait, did I, did I catch them? Wait, What? Ooh, a coin. The staple of the Mario series. Oh! Oh, we found the bunny. Uh, come on, get back here, bunny. Ah, great. Come on, bunny, get over here. I'm tired of this. Come on, bunny! Oh my gosh, is this whole episode just trying is, ah, is he, are, ah. Okay, finally caught one. You caught me! Alright, uh, this whole episode is probably going to be just us catching bunnies. Aww, if only I'd hidden the pipe. Ooh, you... You moron. Rule of hide and seek. Never give away the other person's location. Okay, here's the pipe. And, up, oh, second bunny. Alright, bunny, get back here. Eh. Ooh, star bits. Maybe I can't collect them. Must get this bunny. Come on. Yes, okay. You caught me! Oh, another one of those things, but this time it's like a yellowish color. I should have hidden in the grass. Well, thanks for being oddly specific. Oh, there goes the third bunny. Huh, wow. Actually, thank you for being kind of specific. Ow. <laughs> we, just hit ourselves. we just hit our heads on the stone hedge. Alright, come on. Get back here. Yep. Up oh, the stupid rocks! Come on, buddy. You know you want to get caught. Come on. Come on! Yes! Ha! <laughs> Thank you, Stonehenge. I can't believe I just let myself get caught! Another one of these things. So what are these things? Wow! You caught all of us! Maybe you really can't help Mama. Mama? Who's Mama? Huh. Okay. And ooh, this looks like an altar. Alright, so what is this? Oh, oh, okay. What do these guys have to say? 
Sorry about bringing you here so suddenly. We should probably tell you where you are. There's a connection here to the deep space, far from your lands. We call it the gateway to the starry sky. Okay, thanks so, so much, kind of. Mama's waiting up above. Please help her with whatever she asks. Alright, who's your mama? Is she Peach? I bet you it's Peach. I'm I'm betting money it's Peach. Okay. <gasps> Who the hell is that? Is that Peach? Is that Peach's hot twin sister? Is that Daisy? Not Daisy. That's... I've been watching for you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. I know that other thing just told me like a few seconds ago. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Oh, this guy! Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with this care. And looks like we're gonna be getting a new power from Luma! Up, oh, he just went inside us. <gasps> Magic hands! You have the ability to spin now. Shake Wii Remote. Disaster has struck us. Just as it, just as it had visited you with Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. May the stars shine down on you. So this is Rosalita, and those little starry creatures are called Lumas. Now you might be now another reason why I decided to LP this game is because if you guys haven't known, Rosalina is now a new character for Smash 4. Shake the spin, shake Wii Remote to spin into things that look breakable. You can even spin into enemies to stun them. So yeah, so I want I want to LP this game because Rosalina is now play is gonna be a confirmed character for Smash 4. So why not play why not LP the game she's gonna be in? And ooh star. So yeah, um. This is a launch star. Shake the Wii Remote when you're near one to shoot through the space like a comet. Now go and explore the universe. There are lots and lots of galaxies for you to discover. Well, this is why the game's called Mario Galaxy. <laughs> oh, we're alive. Hi there. Good to see you. Wow, look at you, enthusiastic Luma. I had some bad news. Though, see, I had a launch star all ready for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall into the black hole. Oh, well, great final advice. So, yeah. Goomba. Ah. Da. Oh, yeah, let me also bring up the soundtrack, because that's something I usually bring up in games. I love this soundtrack. I love this soundtrack. I love this soundtrack. This soundtrack is, I, from what I remember, this soundtrack is fully orchestrated. Or a, ma a majority of the songs are fully orchestrated. And man, do they sound beautiful. Ooh, one up. Okay, so yeah, pretty much all the staples to, from Mario back. You got one ups, fire flowers, not mushrooms though. But yeah, and a few new upgrades, but yeah. So, like the Luma said, don't fall into that black hole down there, otherwise you will die. And let's go again! Okay, let her plan toy. Oop, there's a giant Goomba over there. I'm tempted to kill it. Oh, let's get that coin. Eh. Oh, let's see, where do we gotta go? Uh. Oh, this, wait, Luma's trapped, captured. Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key. You can shake to spin them around and make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. Oh, thanks, great advice, Luma. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Is this is it this Goomba that has a key? That Goomba looks awfully suspicious. Yup, whoa, it's a giant key. And our Luma friend is free. Let's go. Thanks! Would you mind rescuing my buddy in the base up there too? I'll transform into a slink star. Just jump at me and just jump into me after I transform! Oh! Whoa! Um, so yeah, Loombas have the ability to transform into many things. Depending on the situation, they will transform into various things, such as like the Sling Star, a Launch Star, and hell, even a Galaxy on some occasions, but that's for later. Ow. Okay. Just like in the other three Mario games, if, if you get hit and you collect the coin, um, you regain health, so that's there. So, um, let's go take out these Loombas, and booyah! Ah, so fine, so, so satisfying to kill them. Okay, this one. Oh, whoa! I have no idea why they're there, but boo! Ugh. Oh, giant key. 
Alright, that guy's free. Let's go to you, Luma. Wee, okay. Oh, that, you can gather up. Oh, ah, okay. Hurry! Down here! That sounds so dirty, but whatever. Oh, we're inside the galaxy now. We've been waiting for you. Oh, the Grand Star! That's a Grand Star! We have to save it! They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine! It looks like it's making... Dot 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 something! Okay! <laughs> um, that, that dot 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 was so necessary. We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained! Quick! Find a way to stop the terrible machine! You could just say stop that machine. You don't have to add the word terrible to it. I know it's a bad machine. But either way, you don't have to say the word terrible. Uh, okay, there we go. One switch activated. Another switch activated. Yeah. Yeah. Another one. Booyah! Is that it for this? Yep, that's it for that side. So let's go to the bottom. Goomba! Eh. Like a side. Oh, wait. turn off the. F I know. I was just getting to that last one. Damn it, Luma! Interrupting my progress. But on the bright side, it looks like we just saved that grand star. Let's get it. First grand star of the game. Actually, first star of the game in general. Don't smack that star too hard. You could break it, Mario. Anyway, we got a grand star. Yeah! Alright, so where are we going to be heading to now? Oh, we're heading to this place. This is like a nice hub area. It's definitely the hub area. I'm so calling it as the hub area. Ooh, yeah. And why is everything so dark? I don't like the dark. Yeah. Oh, um, that kind of grew. All right. So, um, is something gonna happen? Oh, it just lit up part of the observatory. And I kind of just gave away what this place is called. Uh. Alright, one out of six grand stars collected. Someone tells me we gotta head over there. You got a grand star, you got a star. Grand star rescue, gateway galaxy. High score updated, 12 coins. Ah, such a high score. You increase your star bit count. Ooh, 33. You discover a new galaxy. Ooh, the terrace. I know what we're hitting next episode. Alright, Mario, who do you see? The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as a bright as a class 6 star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Also, die? Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star, peoples are my, these star people are my family. That means so much to me. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every hundred years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and, the, and our power source, power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power that crossed the universe. So that's why Bowser could control lightning. I so called it. That guy really didn't say it, but still. Please, I have one request. I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we could use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one, the Terrace. Please, go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do- wait. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the common observatory's ability to fly like a starship. I'm not really sure if that was Rosalie saying that or the Luma. Then perhaps we could pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. I'm giving- I'm giving that, um, that brown Luma that voice. Save your game. Uh, yeah. Oh, and, there we go. Note to self, position yourself better so you could actually use the Wii Rail because that'll actually come in really handy. So yeah, so in the next episode of Let's Play Mario Galaxy, we'll be heading to the Terrace. And yeah, that's all we're going to be doing. So guys, if you like what you see or like, comment, subscribe, do what you want. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. 
So, peace out, peoples, and upper brr.